Yo, what's going on, y'all? Yeah, it's MF up, another up? episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're gonna talk First, about something. We're gonna get into we're exactly. gonna get passionate today. Well, we I love it. We gotta talk I about our health. Let's go. Yes. Are we still in the obesity? Is it still an obesity epidemic right now? Uh, yeah. Yes. I yes. Mean, we the most obese country, country in the world, right yeah. if I ain't mistaken. Yeah. We are. Are. And, and, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Kentucky eats the most donuts. What? How you know that? Plans I thought you were gonna say How Kentucky you know? eat the most fried chicken. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I thought he was gonna say. And I think Kentucky is fried chicken, but yeah. how you gonna eat the? Dang, where you learn that from? Uh, I'm a fat nigga. <laughs> nah, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> nah, stop. But nah, what, what I want to say, it's a different obesity. Yeah. When you're unhealthy, yeah, is the issue. You know what I'm saying? And you- also, if you don't like your body type, mm-hmm. and you continuously stand with it. That's an issue because you got <laughs> control and change over. It. So, control. so I know from from my standpoint. It, it, it's not so much about how you look. It's about like, yo, are you really healthy? Are you at risk for health issues? Mm-hmm. And then also, shine. shine. Get, Get your, your shine, shine on. on. Get your shine on, shout it. Yeah. Hey, so, hey, I put this on. I put it on everywhere. Huh. Yeah. Booty cheeks, <laughs> kneecaps, underarms. I got the vanilla right here. Usually, hey, I got the um, I got the lavender one. Cause I, it, it helped me smell, sleep good because I be sleeping like this. And I yeah. can smell it off my hands. I'm trying to tell you, feeling good. Y'all better rock with this. Right. It's that vanilla. Yeah. Listen, man, we ain't being ashy no more. Okay. Hygiene. Yeah. Hygiene is important. Mm-hmm. You need to get your shine. It's hydrating. Mm-hmm. It's light. It lasts all day. You don't got to use a lot. And it's good from face to foot. Historically, I don't really use lotion or nothing like that because I'm like in a hybrid, light skin, in between dark skin, motherfuckers. <laughs> coming, coming back from vacation, coming back from vacation, I'm a little sunburnt. So I needed something to get me my skin back right because I'm feeling like a reptile right now. So I'm going to get this baby going on when I get home. Oh, and look, you got to shine on everybody. Shine this on. is, and look, I got like four cases. I got yeah. a bunch of cases and I got the big jaw too. That's yeah. old school. Y'all don't even know about that. He don't even got those no more. But look, I'm telling y'all, this shine is amazing. Help with eczema, you know, clear your skin up, all of that great stuff. So you don't want to miss out on this shine, man. Make sure y'all go get y'all a bottle of this. All natural ingredients. Absolutely. Yeah. Where they can find it? So you can find this at shinecareproducts.com. Let them know that we sent you. Use the code FMF20. Get you a discount. Got to. Are you happy with how you look? Mm. If you got all those three things checked off, hey, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. But if you at risk for health issues, if you have, um, if you don't like the way you look or don't feel comfortable about yourself and things like that, then it's time to make a change. Yeah. And that's w- what. I'm all about trying to do is just encourage people to be the best version of themselves and to be the best version of yourself you got to have the best version of your health as well and that's the most important part to be for real man we we got mindset we got fitness Mm -hmm. we got finances if your health is not right you can't do none of that that stuff Mm -hmm. man Man. you know what I'm saying so we got to really take this thing seriously (laughs) and take our health seriously and whatever vision you got for yourself far as your body wise you can get it, you know what I'm saying? Just put a little work in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Put a little work in, put some dieting in, some discipline, and you'll get the type of body that you want. And I know it's a lot of people that talk about, oh, it's, it's tougher for me, or it's uh, my okay, body yeah. type this, or my body type that. Yeah. yeah, it might be tougher. It don't mean it's impossible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it I, don't I, mean it's impossible, yo. I think this is an issue with all of this uh, body positivity. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think it's an uh, issue I'm not with for it all that. because I'm not. it's it's going in the realm of like it don't matter. Uh, it does matter, and it does matter for your health. Now, mm-hmm. trust and believe, I like them thick. Okay, <laughs> I like thick. I'm, I'm a thick dude myself, not in that mm-hmm. way. But I'm a thicker guy. I'm a bigger guy. Oh what? 
Yeah, because he said he was thick. Yeah. <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> that's what I was like. My wife that was, I caught it. I see that's what he said for his sister. Women like thick guys. That was a, we think of thick in a different way. <laughs> Women think of exactly. thick in a different way. <laughs> thick. You 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 thick. Man, come on. I'm thick. <laughs> you solid. That sounds so that sounds manly. You're like, oh you a solid guy? Like, all right, you're a solid guy. So when it comes to the realm of oh, body man. positivity, it's like that means silly. <laughs> it's like you can eat whatever, it don't matter, you still a queen. You can yeah. show your titties and don't say nothing about it. You're still uh, uh, the highest that you know. No. Body positivity or, or we're not shaming. But if you, we're not yes men either. If you need to get in, in shape Speak for yourself. G said he's shaming. He bringing back shame. I shame. Then the wrong his boy. You can remember. I do shame. I, when we get to my, when we get to my reasons. I'm gonna say my reasons, but he don't, and that's his reason. That's why I love this podcast. We have different views yeah. on things. So he has his view. I have mine. Right. Right. Y'all know what's coming. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna shame you, yeah. but I'm gonna check you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, like okay, well, for one. I let you tell me that you might have an issue or, you know, see something and I could either help or ask if you want help, but you can't keep coming back to me to tell me about the same problem if you're not doing anything about mm -hmm. the problem. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's good everybody? It's the FMF mob right here. Yes, we got sir. the finance, we got the mindset, we got the fitness, Damn and we want to shout out the lab. Uh, this place is uh, owned by James, and this guy, man, he opened up this spot to us. It's an amazing place, man. It got the exposed brick. You can kind of look in there and see a little bit. You got the DJ equipment, everything you need to get your photograph needs, podcast, yep. uh, anything you can think of, man. Yeah, they they spot, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do the fitness. Fitness the spot, yeah. recreational All type spot. It's a great location right here in Richmond in the Churchill area yep. for you to be able to come together, put your parties, assemble all that type of stuff together, and just come check it out plus it's black owned absolutely yes, black yes. owned so support your people we definitely fmf support the lab we love the lab yes all right i'll take care so if you do have any issues with your body or you're at some type of health risk and we know them we know them too well or this one's in my family. No, nobody runs in your family. That's the problem. <laughs> that was the all of that one. I never heard that one. <laughs> no, nobody runs in your family. <laughs> nobody oh, runs in your family. Oh, I'm about to post that. What's up? <laughs> oh, this already a wrap. Oh, that was a good one. You already messed up. I'm going viral yeah. again. I'm trying to tell you I'm going to go viral again. I'm trying to tell you. Follow him on Facebook. Yes. Oh, man, yeah. To I'm going to hurt your feelings. I'm letting you know now. Oh, okay. I hurt men and women feelings. Both. It's a, I'm an equal opportunist on my job. <laughs> Everybody get it. So I'm just going. Yes, healing hurter. Right? Yes, everybody. Everybody needs some work. Everybody, including me. Everybody, yeah, yeah, you yeah. ain't exempt. Nobody's exempt. All right, man. It's too. It's too much. Especially when it comes to health, you can do something mm -hmm. right right away. Mm -hmm. You know, you can put that sandwich down. You can drink some more water. Mm -hmm. You can start walking. Okay, get active. If you're hurting, you can go see a professional. You mm -hmm. can get a coach. Yep. There's too many things that you can do, and a gym membership would be what ten dollars, mm -hmm. ten to twenty five dollars. Cheap, you know, and like they spend ten dollars on Chipotle. Push ups and, and sit ups is free. That's what I'm yep. telling you. <laughs> and walking. walking is free. It's free. Free. <laughs> and you can do these things right away. So mm -hmm. if you really have an issue, then you can uh, acknowledge that you can take control of it. Nice. Now. Obesity to me, when I first think about it, the only thing I think about is fat, overweight. So what is obesity? Oh, the, obesity, the word is medical. So you're over your BMI. You're high over body your BMI. So they can say, yeah, body mass index. So you consider it obese. It wasn't meant like to be a, a horrible word, but that's the medical way of saying you need to do something about it. You just, you're big. It's, it's, it, it goes into failure. And uh, the main reason why I, I do do shaming and I do talk about people a lot that don't, that are real skinny or real big or out of shape or unhealthy, just because, honestly, we said before we roll, I'm tired of being a pallbearer. Mm -hmm. Honestly. I got into this cause not only because I was sick, because I actually sat down and watched 
my own family members dying over stuff that we can change. Yep. They all, most of the people in my family didn't die from from really old age. They're not dying because somebody shot them or something weird. It was all things that they did to themselves that led to certain diseases. And then now we have to be sad as a family, including me. Mm-hmm. Like, dang, I lost my uncle. I lost my cousin. I used to love hanging out with them, but they want to eat right and be healthy. And yeah. now we got to bury them. And I and I got angry. Like, yeah. I got mad. Like, why y'all ain't changing? Like, what's wrong with y'all? Y'all, nobody else is seeing this. Right. So that's why I'm so passionate about it. That, that I know if I see that, that you're maybe overweight going to old beasts and you not doing nothing about it, and people around you just celebrating it and they don't understand that if you would die, if you would have a heart attack and die out of nowhere because you can't, you're high risk yeah. to have a heart attack or high blood pressure when you're over, obese and overweight, they would be sad and crying because. You didn't take care of yourself. I see mm-hmm. that far away. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure your mom be sad they're burying you. I'm sure your brothers or sister, anybody be sad they be burying you because you didn't want to take care of yourself and you were obese and not taking care of yourself. Yes, That's indeed. where my shaming come from. If, if it takes me to say something to irk your nerves and you curse me out, but in the end, you don't like me and then you lost the weight, I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to like me no more. You lost that weight. I know your family be happy. Right. Mm-hmm. That's how I see it. You can hate me all you want, but I'm, I see the future and I'm tired. I'm not going to have that for my family no more. That's why I'm so passionate it. about it, man. Mm-hmm. I be tripping off of the excuses like, oh, I'm big bone. <laughs> you know his name. You, you know his name. That's the biggest lie that black people that came up with. Your bones are the same size as mine. There's no such thing as a big bone. There's no such thing. I, I want to touch on something to take you to the financial aspect of yeah. it. What G is talking about is so mm-hmm. real, man. Me being in the life insurance industry, the biggest issues mm-hmm. that I have as far as trying to get people life insurance yeah. Yeah. is they got high blood pressure. Diabetes, yeah, and especially in the black community, yes. and that prevent people from getting life insurance. Exactly. So now, so now, now, not only do you live in an unhealthy lifestyle, but now you putting your loved ones and everything at risk to have to try to scrounge up money, get a mm-hmm. GoFundMe or something like that to take care of, you know, just putting you in the ground. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a real big issue that we really got to tackle out here, especially amongst the black community, because. We are like very what were obese. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We are. It's and, and, stupid, man. And and it's not. I'm not like G. I ain't trying to shame you. I'm trying to encourage you. I want you to live long. I'm shaming you. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, which whichever. Whatever. 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 You know, stuff they miss out on, they can't even get on roller coasters sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I've seen people that can't even get on like roller coasters and missing out on a good time hanging out with their family because of a uh, weight issues. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I said, man, we no matter the method, mm-hmm. the end goal is we want everybody to be better. We want everybody to be healthy and live long lives. Like G said, man, yeah. we I, I've had uncle lose a toe first. Couldn't change the diet. Lose a leg first. Uh, lo- lose a leg after that, and then end up passing in the span of like five to seven years. We had um, diabetes. Diabetes. Diabetes couldn't control the can't control the diet. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's tough because you got to sit there and watch them watch go them through just, that. You watch and them you just tell die. them, and you be like, "Yo, like you ain't just, supposed to be eating like this. Right? You're not supposed to be eating like this, man. <laughs> That's because I'm like, G, I get passionate about it too. Cause we coming at it from two different angles. Mm-hmm. He coming at it from the health aspect to keep you from going in the ground. And I'm mm-hmm. coming at it from the aspect of like, yo, if something was to happen to you because you didn't live a healthy life, now you can't get life insurance or whatever like that. And now your family got to take care of the responsibility of something you could have took care of while you was alive, man. Let's just yeah. do better. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Let's do better. As yeah. a people, let's do mm-hmm. better. And we got to hold each other accountable of it mm-hmm. too because we know the people that's just continuously like you. You drinking, you got the beer every night, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You have to work, that's how you do. Like, you can do one beer, you don't got to do a case, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't got to drink all the time, you don't got to eat. Lover. You don't got to <laughs> eat all this crazy stuff mm-hmm. that you know ain't good for you. You know, you can save it, like, like honestly, mm-hmm. me and my wife, we changed. We don't eat all the mac and cheese and stuff until the holidays, so we really only eat mm-hmm. it like three or four times a year. Mm-hmm. Still here. You ain't subscribed yet? Hit that button, my man. Hit that button and subscribe. 
you know, good. other than that, it's a lighter starch and, you know, different. just try something yeah. different. We like to try stuff. Yeah. Try something different, bro. You can get away from those certain uh, those certain meals that we hold so dear in yeah. the black community. We love them. Oh, I love them. I miss you know so I mean? much. I miss is it, this is a disclaimer. First thing, I'm trying to tell you. Disclaimer, you know, when you talk about losing weight, and we talk not, I'm just, no, I'm sorry, y'all, but not about just being obese. You don't have to be a bodybuilder. I'm yes. not talking about you have to try to try to look like me or, or the guy that be on the competition or that. No, just be healthy. You ain't yeah. got to have six pack abs exactly. and crazy big old butt and big legs and big arms. No, just be healthy. Just be in the, in the, in the normal range where the doctor be like, you just healthy. You just cold. You can have some fat on you. Everybody has some fat on you. Everybody. Just don't be too over gluttony and just big. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Saying, yo, you don't have to problem. be like that. So that's just claiming. I ain't trying to get you to be no bodybuilder. Just get th- that little bit off. That's the but problem. But when it comes to that food, Lord, mercy, I miss it so much. <laughs> <laughs> As a trainer, I really do. Is that The fact, I just have the willpower not to eat it because I want to live longer. But don't think that for one second, I ain't thinking about them ribs the merch I used to eat like a whole rack of <laughs> pork chunks too. Come on, I ain't even eat pork in a long time. I still remember it. And it's good. It's not healthy for me. I remember all that P- P- Papa John, all that. Lord of mercy, if I can get a meat love a twelve inch joint. Oh, got with the garlic sauce on the side. Oh, yo, I want to get it. Yo. I want it so bad, but I can't eat that <laughs> stuff, man. <laughs> That's not what I say. You said twelve inches. <laughs> pause. That was a pause. I missed it, man. I could have said medium. Why did I say that? Trey even called it, yo. Hey, I don't know. Like, you know don't don't cut shit. me up, man. That's my first time. I did. I was paused. My B. But still, <laughs> man. Just, <laughs> <laughs> my B, man. I messed up on that one. I um thought it was milkshakes. I miss I miss a lot of things, but it's just I, I think about that day when I that I don't want my like I said my my parents bury me before they die and, mm-hmm. and me having kids one day and I'm dying young and I ain't get to see my kids grow up and it's just that stuff goes in my mind when I yeah. try to eat bad or try to do bad I want to be here as long as I can I want to be on my hospital bed or even die in my bed be like yeah and the doctor be like what happened he was just old. He just died because he was old. He just old. Yeah. I don't want to die over something that I couldn't prevent. That's, exactly. that's how, so how I you, see it. You think, you think about your health. You're thinking about others. You're not just solely thinking about yourself. No. I'm thinking about everybody else. Take that into consideration. Everybody people. else. And I, I selfish, prove it all the time. Man. Yeah, I prove it all the time. I try to speak it as much as I can where it's not about me. It's really about having you around your family and you looking good and you living the life that you want to live. Mm-hmm. That's how what I do it for. That's, I, 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 that's that's it. You gotta you gotta take care of yourself for everybody. It, it, it's not just about you. It's, that, it's that, not. That's the whole thing people think. It's about them. It's no. Most of the people that don't take care of themselves, they're like, oh well, I'm gonna die anyway, or you know, like I'm gonna die happy. You're not. I, I don't think you're. If you're trying to justify your happiness by this, I don't think it's true happiness at all. Um, and it, it'd be a whole lot of single-minded excuses when it comes to you knowing that you're not living right however it is you're not eating right you're gonna stay mm-hmm. on that on that course yeah you're not eating right you're not taking care of yourself you know it and you know what you need to do in order to do better but you just won't put that discipline in and it don't have to be see for me it's in moderation because like i said i'm a solid guy i'm a bigger guy I like my stuff, you know. I had some donuts the other day. That's why the fun fact came up. So, <laughs> but I had those donuts. I I ain't gonna have them donuts again for months. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I, I did mine. I indulged in it. Cool. It was a reward. Like mm-hmm. I, you know what I mean? Got it done. Stayed in the gym. I still got to be in the gym. Mm-hmm. Most of the time now, my mentality: if I know I'm about to eat heavy or eat crazy, mm-hmm. I got to work out before. Mm-hmm. Watching this video, man, you ain't subscribed yet. Man, I got about five more seconds to go and subscribe. I'm finna show this person right here, man. Hey, subscribe to this channel, man. We got work to do. All right, let's get back to it. That's the thing, too. Yeah, it's sometimes you can you can go air once in a while because everybody's human. They want that little sweet tooth or something like that. Yeah. But it's really about what you do afterwards. Like yeah. you say, if you know you're eating burgers, be like, dang, bro, I may have to do like another 50 burpees. Like, dang, I don't feel yeah. like doing that joint, but I gotta do it and, and try to work that joint mm-hmm. off. So, is it moderate? Don't be so, so hard on yourself. Yeah. And, and the, the other part I wanna point out is it's not just big people. 
Mm-hmm. It could be, you know, regular sized people that's yep. still unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? Healthy. Yeah. It's yeah, about true. a healthy lifestyle. Yes. We mm-hmm. gotta we gotta make some changes, man. I, I'm glad we brought this up because I was just talking about this to a client of mine about like how like I come across so many people, countless applications denied because oh, that one high question. blood pressure, diabetes, black. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? Dang. That's the first that, that, I, I was telling them off camera Like yo One of the first things I do If somebody come up to me And say yo Paul I want uh, life insurance I'm like hold on This is a red flag Yo you got high blood pressure or Diabetes <laughs> You can tell how you look How they look or something No it's oh, just yes. cause, yeah. Cause a lot of times And this going, this might be a good subject For another uh-huh. um, podcast episode I But um, People only think about life insurance when yeah, something like fate, when yeah. they having an issue, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. When something come up, so when somebody come up to me and say, "Hey, I, I need life insurance," mm-hmm. I'm so used to those are the people that have something going on that mm-hmm. we gotta maybe work a little bit harder to try to see if we can help them out with. Yeah. So that's why the first thing that comes to my mind: high blood pressure, diabetes. And by half the time, like yeah. And then I gotta ask how many pills or how you doing it. If you do have a high blood pressure or diabetes, the best thing for you in regards to life insurance is if you're managing it with your diet. Boom. You gotta manage it with your diet. If you want pills and stuff like mm-hmm. that, it get tougher or you might have to pay more in life insurance. But if you can manage it with your diet, it might be a little bit better for you. So that's just a little tidbit, but- I like that. Yeah, we gotta gotta take care of ourselves, man. What you put in your body is what you'll get out of it. Mm -hmm. So erectile dysfunction can be clearer with your dieting. Mm. Your vision can get better with your dieting, okay? Longevity, of course, in life, breathing, Mm. better with your dieting how your body actually operates and functions if you if you eat properly and rest Mm -hmm. and get enough activity that combination you do those three things trust me you will look and feel better Mm -hmm. now i do have an issue (laughs) with being the bigger guy Mm -hmm. i always wanted to look good but being bigger, my clothing options was limited. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Do you think that that's a play on the obesity? Do you think that that's a play on the obesity? Like, since you big, we're going to only give you these limited options. You know what I'm saying? You got to lose weight to get all the fancy stuff or the or the, the flashy stuff. Or It could be from both ways. I mean, I don't play devil's advocate. It could be like it may, the, the design is not going to look good on people with certain body types. Mm. They that's what probably that's the mm. political way they'll probably say. Mm. Um, most likely they'll probably say that, or they'll be like, "Oh, it'll cost us too much to get the fabric." Like all that. That's, I think it's political yeah. answers, mm-hmm. but the real answer, I think the underlying one is probably it might be that. <laughs> I'd be trying to try to maybe they, no. So are you saying why they're not bigger sizes? Mm-hmm. Most yeah. of the time? I, I think because. I think a lot of designers go based off of what the majority is. And I think the majority probably fall for, for men. I don't know what it is for women, but mm-hmm. the majority probably fall between medium and extra large. <laughs> That's why I think the they, medium of people in America, no, the average person. No, no, I'm talking about the sizes. Oh, uh, okay. Like, I think they probably fall in because that every time I go to the store, I always see mediums and I always see through extra larges. Yeah. So I don't think. I think they they view everything and everything is so strategic with them. It's so, a number game. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they like, yo, who for for the cost it, it, it takes to produce this stuff? Who can we help the most people and yeah. keep our profits up? Yeah, yeah. And then I think it's yeah, that medium, the extra that. long. You have a lot of clothes. Yes, I have. You have a that lot was of clothes. one of my motivations. <laughs> you have more clothes than me. You have yeah. a lot of clothes. He's like, he's definitely, yo, hey. He the freshest dude on the show. <laughs> yeah, he was switching it up. I don't, I don't shop as much as him. Talking about. Yeah. Now, yeah, but I was, I was up in them sizes, man, and I ain't had nothing. And I realized, like, I'm wearing sweatpants all the time. Or oh, I got to, you know, even when it came to shoes, I think it was a size, it was a size issue. And we've they've gotten better with it, mm-hmm. but I also teeter totter on it too because I'm like, if you really want a certain look. Mm-hmm. You know, even if they made your size and that certain look, you still won't be completely happy mm-hmm. about how you look in it, like if, your personal experience. So, yeah, do some things, do them, that three, your dieting, your activity, and your rest. Mm-hmm. You get those three, 
and you start to lose weight, you start to shaping up. I've never been motivated by the scale. Mm. I've never been no. motivated by the scale. I've always been motivated by it. It's been size. It's been clothes for me. How I mm. look in this, or I, I done went down the size. Now I can start shopping in other stores. Yeah. Now I could, I could, you know, not to brainwash nobody, not to think that, you know, because I already know. It's like, oh, everything should be included. I don't think we should be an all inclusive society. Mm. We go, that's another topic. <laughs> that's another topic, yo. Say oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that one. I got yeah. Okay. But <laughs> but but to bring it back, um you have to you have to look at the obesity as far as um if you want to change, ain't nobody be able to change. We can't change, you gotta change, change yourself. You. you got to do it yourself. We can lead you to water, but you don't want to drink, you don't want to do right. Telling you. We mm. can't change it. But I, I I hope this episode do try yeah. to help uh, our community because we're we might be the, the, the biggest one right now in our mm-hmm. community, and we need to help with that. Yeah. And I think we could um, do a lot more. We could be better as people if we were healthier, yeah. like the other sides we are. They, yeah. they, they, ain't, they ain't perfect either, but it does play a lot in the role as far as how you work as a man, how you sleep. Energy level. How people, yep, energy level, how people look at you. Mm-hmm. All It keeps posture. on going, all mm-hmm. that. All that. You could be the best person, but if you ain't got that confidence, like, I, I look this certain way, I feel a certain way. You won't be able to get good with your projects, doing good for interviews. Mm. Um, you could be trying to get a contract with people they don't want to see you that way, all because you, your mindset and how you look and how you feel about yourself. yourself. So this all goes on as far as men. Yes, mm-hmm. it, it, it plays a big part on that. Grows your testosterone, all that, man. It's all just of that. It, just get a little shape again. You don't have to be a bodybuilder. Yeah, yes. just going three times a week, do a few push-ups, hit the stairmaster, about an hour, hit the sauna. And you every every so week a few pounds gonna drop off. It's just how it goes, and eventually you'll get addicted. You gonna be there every day. Mm-hmm. It's just how it goes. And you gonna feel better, man. Feel yeah, so much better. you gonna get. I guarantee you gonna get addicted, man. You gonna everybody get into that gym. Everybody do mm-hmm. once you start getting really into it. So you gotta start somewhere. And another thing that we're gonna touch on on another episode are uh, actual like myths of dieting. We're gonna go on to like mm. myths of dieting and stuff. Okay. And um and and, no, like and set the record straight for mm-hmm. a lot of stuff because I know when we hear diet we sh- we shut yeah. it back like oh no nah. like, doing it and, and, and one of the reasons why is because we constantly thinking about what we can't do or what we can't have versus where we're headed. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's good. I, I I just love. I thank you fellas for bringing this topic up. Yeah. I, I appreciate us for being able to discuss this mm-hmm. and have this dialogue. If you need more assistance, mm-hmm. more communication on this, I'll let me know. Yes, he is uh, outspoken on a lot of things, but it's yeah. because he's passionate mm-hmm. and he doesn't bring that type of energy towards the one-on-one, the consultation. No. He mm-hmm. actually just wants to see you know, a, a healthier society, mm-hmm. especially in the black community. So reach out to them, see what the consultation is, see where you can get some work, and you can go from there. Yep. All right. All right. Love, good people. Take care. Peace. All right.